Hello everybody, it's Corey. Um, I'm going to apologize up front. I know I had been doing the Ulti videos first and getting those uploaded um, due to the fact that more people were liking those videos versus the Yield Max uh, named Covered Call ETFs. However, this evening I ran into an issue because the uh, Ulti trades were not showing on the website, so I have reached out to Jay. Um, however, he says that he would have to check to see what was going on, but he did say it was a heavily traded day for Ulti. Unfortunately, um, we're probably not going to get the trades at this point because it is so late. That's what happened last time. Um, on February 29th, uh, if you watch the, the weekly, you know, review vid video, I talk about that. So we might end up having another one of those days, but in the meantime, I wanted to, uh, go ahead and get this one out, uh, the old max cover call ones out, um, for the, uh, single named ETFs. Okay. So also... I'm going to try something new. Tonight, uh, well, for today, we didn't have as many trades for these as we normally do. So I'm going to test it out with this one, and y'all let me know. Um, however, I am not going to, well, at least for tonight, y'all give me the feedback, but I'm not going to read off all the trades for the day. You will see them here on the screen. If there was a closed position, then I would talk about it and I would mention it. But in this case today, there are no closed. Uh, none of them are being closed out or rolled. So all I'm going to do is mention um, the, the ETF ticker and the total trade amounts. And then we will move on to the holdings. Um, and then I'll mention uh, the new ones that show up, like on column T here, we show some of these are new. I'll mention those in the holding, so that way maybe we can remove some of that duplication there, uh, which is the reason I want to, if there were closed ones, I would go through the closed ones because obviously they're not going to be on the holdings, or they shouldn't be on the holdings. So, um, and I don't remember which one it was. I think it was Coney that we had looked at last week. They had had it on the holdings. Uh, there was an error, but that has been fixed as of today. So just to go over the uh, trade totals for the day, AIYY had uh, brought in 160200 AMDY um, paid out 11340 a P L Y or Apply um, brought in thirty six thousand eight hundred and forty. Dizzo paid out twelve thousand nine hundred and twenty five dollars, and Misty paid out one hundred and twenty four thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars. Also over here where it has the trade total and colors, somebody had asked about that, and um, I mentioned something about possibly I could color the color them. Instead of coloring the numbers, I colored the cells red and green, um, but you can give me feedback on that on any preferences there. But we're going to move over and we're going to go ahead and get into the holdings. And if you can see in column X here, um, this was the other portion that I'd started last week, but it has that new and existing column. So it's going to tell me uh, bring that data in from that other tab, from the trades tab. So uh, we're going to start with the holdings for AIYY, and it closed today at $15.88. AI closed at $30.87. And if we look over on the right, or in the middle of the screen actually, we have three short calls, and uh, I've already looked at all of these. All of our short calls will expire Friday. Um, yeah, all of these expire Friday. I don't think there's an exception, so I'm not going to read the dates uh, or refer to them as this Friday. So 
that'll cut down on some time. So anyway, we have three short calls here with different strike prices. We have a 3250, 33 and 3350. So we are $2.63 from the um, 3350. We are what roughly $2.13 away from the 33 and a dollar 63 away from the 3250. And then you see on the right hand side that 3250 is a new short call for the week and the other two there beside the synthetic that means added that we've added contracts to those since our short call is a brand new one and there were 400 there were 400 uh, contracts there then that means we added 400 to those synthetics as well and that'll be how the rest of these are so I won't explain that again All right, we will move on to AMDY. We closed at 22.12 today. AMD closed at 198.39. We have two short calls, one with a strike price of 212.50 and one with a strike price of 225. We are $26.61 from that highest strike price. And then, let's see, I don't know, we're about 24-ish dollars from the other strike price. And we will move on. We have Amzi. It closed at 22.16. Amazon closed at 171.96. We have two, two short calls. One with a strike price of one seventy seven fifty, so we're five dollars and fifty two, roughly five dollars and fifty two cents away from that strike price, and then the other one is one hundred and eighty dollars, and we are eight dollars and four cents away from that strike price. If we move on to Apple, Apple closed at sixteen ninety six, Apple closed at one seventy two seventy five. We have two short calls, 172.50, and it looks like we're over that one by 25 cents. Therefore, if you see in the right-hand column where it has the market value, um, you sh it shows right there that um, that one would co cost us $622,650 to close that out. And to point out, this is the one that we have our most contracts uh, with as well because you see our 175 strike price only has 20 contracts. And for that one, it's 175. We are $2.25 away from that one. And of course, you see on the right, this is um, a new position, a new strike price for us as of today. We will move on down to Coney. Coney closed at $27.30. Coin closed at $254.17. We have one short call with a strike price of $295. And we are $40.83 away from there, away from that price. If we move on to Dizzo, Dizzo's price is $21.40. Disney closed at $112.31. We have, so here for Dizzo, we actually have a synthetic that closes this Friday. And you know, now that I say that, I realize it was Alti that has the same synthetic and short call expiration dates, not Dizzo. Um, because now that I think of it, Dizzo had a bunch that were going, I mean, not Dizzo, and not even this one. I mean, these single named uh, covered calls. 
the Ulti, Ulti has the same synthetic and short calls, and these do not. So there will be a difference with all of these synthetics that, that haven't been already closed out, but will that will close out this week. So we'll see those in red um, as well, just like we see them here. So with that said, we let's finish the short calls here. We have the short calls with the strike prices of 113 and 115. So we're 69 cents away from the one with our most contracts, 800 contracts, and then we're $2.69 away from our new strike price of 115. And then if we look at our synthetics, um, we're actually over our synthetic of 110. So that puts us in the positive. So we would get, if we close that one over here, you can see if these two together, we would get about 200,000 if, uh, you know, we had closed that out today. We will move on to Phoebe. It closed at 2241 today. Meta closed at 483.59. And there's only one short call with a strike price of $520. So we are $36.41 away from that one. Um, from what I recall hearing today, this one was going down. I did hear them say there was a possibility of why, but I did not uh, look that up ever here that they even validated that that was the reason. Uh, but supposedly there was a catalyst for this one today for it going down. Um, but I don't know it uh, yet. I don't know what the previous close price was. I don't have it on this specific sheet. If we move on to GUI, GUI closed at 1639. Google closed at 137.67. Here we have a short call with a strike price of 141, uh, which is $3.33 away. And then we also have synthetics, which the strike price here is 150. And our close price for Google is less than 150. So that's not a good sign, right? Because we want it, we want our stock price or our underlying price to be above the synthetic but below the short call. Of course, this one's, you can tell because it's a little off um, that this has had some issues for a minute here. So if we look on the right hand side, we can see that the synthetic, if we had to close that out today, it would have cost uh, $2.4 million. And then of course, this will have to be closed out by Friday. If we move on to JPMO, it closed today at $20.97. JPM closed at 188.29. Our let's see, we have two short calls. We have a strike price of 190, so we're dollar 71 from that, and then we have a strike price of 192.50, and we're four dollars and 21 cents from that one. If we move on down to Murney, it closed at twenty dollars and 75 cents today. Moderna closed at one eleven ninety eight, and if you look on the right hand side, you can see that our short call strike price was a hundred and two, or is a hundred and two. Um, I guess they figure we have all week to see um, how this is going to go because, I, if I remember correctly, Moderna like went straight up right out of open this morning um, and it was based on some news with their mRNA and some other things um, but it went straight up and then it I think it basically stayed around that price uh, most of the day so I don't know they maybe they're waiting for it to come back down since it was up uh, most of the day um, today so we will see how that goes, but you can see right now that if they had to close that out this afternoon, it would have cost that short call, it would have been $2.2 million. Even if they would have closed out the synthetic, 
it would not have offset it. Uh, you know, sometimes it will do that, but in this case, it wouldn't even have, we would have been in the negative still overall. But um, we're going to move on to MSFO. MSFO closed at 2168. Microsoft closed at 404.62. You can see that the synthetic will expire this week. Um, its strike price is 420, and you, you can tell we're $15 plus below that. So you can see that it would cost um, over 1.3 million to close that out uh, if we had to do it today. And then our short call is at for seventeen fifty, and we're twelve dollars and eighty eight cents away from that. If we move on down to Misty, Misty closed at thirty five sixty three. MicroStrategy closed at one thousand four hundred eighty four dollars and twenty three cents. And now we have two short calls. We have the sixteen twenty with 105 contracts and uh, we're roughly what $135 from that strike price um, but then we have a new one today with a strike price of 1900 and we're $415 and 77 cents and then we still have a couple of weeks um, two and a half or so weeks away before our synthetic closes for this account. Um, but this one seems to be sort of like similar to Coney, right? And that we're going to make more money um, on our synthetic than we're going to make on these short calls, probably. But we're going to move on down to Nephli. Nephli closed at 1806. Netflix closed at 600 and 93 cents. We have one short call with a strike price of 630 and we are $29 and 7 cents away. If we go to NVIDIA, NVIDIA closed at 2715, NVIDIA closed at 85774. We have two short calls. We have our first one at 940 and we're around $80 from that strike price and then we have a 1000 and ten dollar strike price, and we're one hundred and fifty two twenty six from there. If we move on down to OARC, we closed at thirteen oh six. ARC closed at fifty sixty five. Our short call strike price is fifty two, and we are one dollar and thirty five cents away from that strike price. And then we have PayPay that closed at seventeen eighty three. PayPal that closed at $60.08. We have two short calls with a strike price of $61, in which we're $0.92 cents away from. And this is where most of our contracts are. And then we have a strike price of $62, $1.92 from that strike price. And then we also have synthetics that will expire this week. And those stri that strike price is $65, and we are at 60 so we're almost $5 below that. And if we had to close that one out today, it would cost us $915,000. If we move on to SQY, we closed at $23.62. Block closed at $81.53. We have two short calls. The first strike price is $81, which is where most of our contracts are. And we are, we're a dollar, no, I'm sorry. We are 53 cents above that strike price. Um, you see on the right-hand side, the market value, it would have cost us, uh, if we closed it out, somewhere around $680,000 today. Um, but there's a possibility that that will, you know, go down this week. And then if we have we have our other short call of eighty two cents and we're forty seven cents away from that one with roughly fourteen hundred shares. And then we have our synthetic, which has a strike price of eighty dollars and we're a dollar fifty three above that.
if we closed, you can see on the left hand side I have the short call value, which is negative uh, 920,000. But if we closed out our synthetics and our short calls, it's looking like roughly 400,000 uh, to the positive. But we'll move on to Tesla. So Tesla closed at 1615 today. But I know that I saw Tesla ranging, like, well, first thing off the open this morning, I know it was skyrocketing. It got up to at least 181, um, and then it, it, it just petered out and then never got that high again today. But um, it was just ranging in this area, this price range right here. But for Tesla, I saw it below 15, and I think I saw it as high as, like, 16 30 or something or 1629 um, so it had some some big movements there uh, throughout the day but anyway Tesla closed at 177 and 77 cents so we have two short calls one with a strike price of 183.33 which has half of our contracts and we're around six dollars from that one and then we have Sorry, I see that this one is wrong. So what I'm going to do is color this red. All right, I don't, it still has the formula, so I'm not sure what happened there. Um, but we have our other short call that has 187.50, so it's roughly $10 from there. For the other half if we look at our synthetics we have two different synthetics here and we're below both of them our 200 well we have a 220 dollar strike price and a 185 dollar strike price if we closed out I'm sorry, these are just too big of numbers this late at night. I'm not even going to try to do this in my head. That shows it would cost us, um, let me make sure this is the right one. Yeah, that would cost us roughly $137 million to close those synthetics out, which I think was better than the last time we looked at it, so... With that said, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to steal from Rod, and this is all for fun and entertainment purposes only. I meant to say that at the beginning. Um, but, let's see, we went over the synthetics and short calls there. All right. So, we're going to move on to Zomo. Zomo closed at 1765. Exxon closed at 109.02. Our short call is 110, so we're 98 cents away from that one. If we go down to YMAG, it closed at $20.32, and then YMAX closed at $21.60. And that's all we're going to cover for today. And then I'm going to, I just remembered that I'm going to do a quick update for the YMAX and YMAG. I'm going to add, I can already see, looking at least this number right here for outstanding shares. I'm going to add our new outstanding shares to the spreadsheet and just show where we're at with the difference of that for the night. And as far as uh, the distribution from the single stocks and where we're going to, you know, see where we're getting closer to for the actual distribution for YMAX and YMAG announcement that will be this week. But uh, I'll do that, and then I'll also work on the Ulti video. Thank y'all.